church do baptism. Yeah. All right. Church on Sundays, and he's been having his instrument with him. That's right. So, like, we bring our vow. He got his weapon with him, too. Amen. Amen. We do feel like and believe that he's in a household that where he's been taught about God. Amen. And so, you believe that God has a son by the name of Jesus Christ? Yes or no? You do? Yes. 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 Yes, okay. You believe that he will save you from your sins? Yes. And you believe that he will take care of you when your time comes to die. You just believe that God will save your life and take you to heaven. That's your thoughts and your belief. How old are you? He's 13. You're 13 years old. Hey, so he's of age. Amen. 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 That's all salvation is, just believing. And we know your parents. And we know that they've talked to you about Jesus Christ. They brought you up in a household. Amen. Not only your parents, but your whole family. Your outreach. So you have family all around you. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And so having heard testimony come from Brother Welch, that he believes in Jesus Christ, you want to be baptized, yes, sir. and become a member of this church. Yes, sir. Okay. Brother, you heard his testimony. What can we hear? Pastor, on behalf of local church membership, we want to accept him for a candidate for baptism. And after baptism, give him the full hand, right hand of fellowship. And he have all rights that everyone else has here. Amen. To serve God as he chooses. Amen. You heard his testimony. You've heard the recommendation. What is the pledge of the church? If you're all in favor, may use the sign of I. I. In the post, we have the same right. I've got my phone so I can look at my calendar to see when we can get a good time to baptize or give them a plenty of time to prepare. Um, there's not much to it, just get the proper apparatus. This is the fourth Sunday in September. What about the how much time do you get? Nope, whenever you say so. Okay. How about the third Sunday in October? So October 16th, third Sunday morning, we were baptized right here in Novro Church Sanctuary. Amen. And after which we'll give him the right hand of fellowship and he will become a member of this congregation, this flock. That's all that means you're joining this group here. You can take your membership any way you choose to in the future, but this is just a starting point. Amen. Amen. And you become a member of God's family, which is the church, what we call the church. Amen. Amen. So we're glad to have you. We look forward to working with you. We want you to be in the youth department, to join the youth services, youth choir, whatever you've got going on, we want you to be a part of that as well. Amen. 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 And you'll be guided by your mother and your, and your parents. And this is your youth director right here, Minister Clemens. Yes. She's as a hug. She's the department chair. So she'll be working close with you as well. Amen. 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 I don't know nothing else to do. Just say, hey, get going ahead and pray. Yeah. Yeah. Take charge of him. And Minister uh, Clemens. Yes, sir. You, you, your protocol to, to uh, close out. Why well, we get remain standing? Just remember that no matter what you're going through, no matter what you may come up against, or what may come up against you, God got you. God got you. If you, if you long to be kept, he's going to keep you in that perfect peace. So let's bow our heads. Father, our Heavenly Father, I come to you today giving you thanks 
want to thank you, Father, because you've been so good to us, Lord Jesus. You've been so good to us, Father God. You have kept us in the midst of all of our mess, Lord. Father, I thank you. You have kept us safe. You have kept us peaceful. Father God, you have kept our minds so that we could keep our minds on your word, on your teaching. Keep our minds to, and our eyes to the hills. Father God, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. And I ask that you continue to bless us. Bless the overall family. Bless the community, Father God. Bless your nation. Your people, Father. We are your people. Oh, Father God. Mm. Some of us need a healing today. Some of us need a healing of the spirit. Some of us need a healing of the mind, the soul. Father God, some of us need that physical healing. Lord, our son, our son, Lord, we this morning. And we ask that you wrap your arms around them. Keep them safe. Keep them peaceful, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Look into the hospitals. Ooh, nursing homes, Father. Look into the homes of the bereaved this morning. Father God, I ask that you just not just look. Father God, walk in and sup with the Lord. So that they can have the peace and understand. Regulate their minds, Father, so they can hearts. Father God, we ask that you walk into all the facilities that's ran by man that they feel like they control on this one. Let them know that they control nothing, Father God. Let them know that you keep them. They don't keep you, Father God. So they understand that when they come up on your children that they treat them just like they would you, Father God, if they met you today. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you continue to just bless us. Keep your peace among us, Father God. Your protection Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, help us to just stay focused. So that when the time comes, Lord, we will be ready. And we thank you, Father, for another servant that came to give his life to you. Father God, we thank you. Help us to embrace him, to work with him, to love him. Help him to never feel uncomfortable in your house, Father God. Because this is yours, it's not ours. Lord, help them to understand that we are just people of the flesh. But there is a spirit that's much higher that can soothe any pain, any pain, that can fix anything. Father God, in the name of Jesus, as we get ready to depart from here, Lord, to go to wherever the homes are, wherever we may be going, we ask that you keep us safe on these dangerous highways. Father God, we ask that you have us let us find everything safe when we good when we get back home to our families. And let us to love one another just like Jesus loved us enough to go to the cross. Help us to love each other in Jesus' holy name, Father. So that when the day comes that we should step out, Lord, you will be standing there to reach with my hand and welcome me into your kingdom forevermore. In Jesus' holy name, I pray. 